What's up guys, Brendan here from AdditGaming.com. Today I'm going to give you another quick dungeon guide on Sorrow's Embrace. This time we will be going into path number one for explorable mode. Uh, in this path we had to help out Fur clear out the rest of the inquest. And just like story mode, I won't be talking through the, much of the video, but I will be talking through the boss uh, fights and explaining oh. the bosses to you. Uh, so just relax and enjoy the video and I'll jump in buggies. when the boss fights come. Excuses, I'd ask you for them. Now get this golem working. But the power couplings are unstable. If we activated now, it could attack us. Zero tolerance. See thyself. No, you did it worse. Break it off. Still having a lockout problem. Okay, guys, so the first boss you're gonna run into is the impasse mark four. Now this boss does have a uh, company in quest with him that you'll have to kill. They also spawn down uh, turrets, so I would suggest that you kill the in quest right away and then focus down on the boss, and the boss is very simple. Uh, he just does a whirlwind attack, like a pull attack, and uh, that's about it. So he's a very easy boss, just make sure you get the heads down first and you'll be okay. More blues. Always be loyal to your crew. The great justice. Refreshing. Okay guys, so the second boss you're going to run into is Nock, and he's up on this platform. Now one thing he does is he spawns singularities which do AoE damage, so it is pretty good to have somebody just zerg them down. They do die on their own, but it's just nice to have somebody uh, killing them. Another thing he does is he controls gravity in a way that he locks someone down where he immobilizes them and also uh, controls their actions, or doesn't control their actions, but the player can't control their actions for a certain amount of time. Now I heard he also has a knockback, but I didn't see it in this fight, uh, but I have heard that before. Oh! Come on. <laughs> Come on. Why? You're dead. She, she, fell, off. she fell off the edge. I didn't see her fall off, I saw her run and jump off. Really? Oh my god. Sarah's pushed her. <laughs> Really? Okay guys, welcome to the hardest boss fight in this path, I think, and 
If you did story mode, you fought these golems before, but you fought them one at a time. Now we have to fight all three golems at the same time. Now my group decided to do golem E4 first. Uh, what E4 golem does is he causes weakness when he attacks. He also has a shield that he puts on, and if you attack him while he has the shield on, you will take damage. And uh, he'll do a li little lightning burst thing. Uh, it's kind of like chain lightning. When it hits somebody, it'll bounce around to other allies. So make sure you watch out for that. Uh, some guys say to kind of like separate them and then kite one of them over to the corner. But I think it's very doable. Uh, just doing them all at the same time. So after E, we went after the F golem, F4 golem. Now what he does is he purges conditions to heal. So you need to go very light on the conditions you put on him. Uh, but I've noticed that he doesn't really heal for too much, so it's not as big of a deal. I think it was uh, much harder before. He also does a lot of fire spreading through uh, lava fonts and uh, just throwing fire all over the place. So make sure you watch out for that. So after we're gonna, after we finish with the F4 golem, uh, we head over to the T4 golem, which is the poison golem. Uh, wherever oh, he's standing, well, he's gonna that? put poison down. So if he moved, if he walked around somewhere, uh, he would he would be bringing that poison with him. So stay stay at range. Uh, don't go in melee and uh, what the just fuck attack him from range and spread out. He'll also th he'll also throw volleys of uh, poison around. Sure what he's hitting me with. And usually at one single person, and uh, that'll cause massive bleeding and uh, poison as well. So make sure you also watch out for that. But just focus on each one at a time. I liked uh, my group did the E4 golem, the F4 golem, then the T4 golem. So uh, I suggest you do the same. Uh, we didn't really have too many problems with it. Uh, we did have one guy go down. I, we had a couple guys go down, but uh, we only had one guy actually die. What the fuck is that? They uh, I'm on my guardian wall. Oh yeah. Ah. Oh. That makes a lot more sense. Okay guys, for the last boss is Taza, and she's also accompanied by uh, Troop Commander Kai. So, it's technically two bosses in here. Uh, Troop Commander Kai is optional, you don't have to kill it for the completion of the path. Uh, but we decided to click to kill him anyway. I don't know if it's easier or not uh, just zerging Taza down. But I've never tried that. I usually just kill uh, just kill the troop commander right away. So anyway, what the troop commander does is he stealths every once in a while, and he's very evasive. Uh, he has like uh, kind of like the sword and dagger set for a ranger. He's very evasive like that and, and stealthing around. He could be hard to catch up with. Uh, as he starts losing health, and the lower he gets, he starts spawning inquest, uh, little inquest minions to help him out. So make sure that you're cleaning them up as well. You don't want too many of them uh, standing around, so you want to make sure that you're killing his little buddies as well. So many fucking very little animals running around, man. <laughs> Okay guys, now that the troop commander is dead, uh, we switched over to Taza. I did, I did skip forward quite a bit because uh, she has a pretty large health pool. Uh, but the one big thing you have to watch out for is she basically does a huge AoE mind stab. Uh, if you can see all the little red circles popping on the ground, then uh, you really need to get out of that. Luckily, it is, it is very easily dodgeable. Um, I'm a glass cannon thief, so I was I did get caught in it once or twice, and I was basically one-shotted. I don't know how other classes do against it. Uh, I think you'll see it right there pop up. So I just dodge out, and you see all the mind stabs popping up. It's like a mind stabs a mesmer ability with a great sword. <laughs> Go know, away. It's basically the same thing. Uh, so it does a lot of damage. So what she also does is she uh, creates clones of your party. So she'll make a random person like uh, right there. And then you just have to zerg it down. It doesn't really do too much. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, it's a pretty easy fight. It's just a little long because uh, they both have pretty high health. Just make sure you stand out of the uh, AoE mind stabs and then uh, your team will be okay. Other than that, it's pretty easy. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video.